Hey guys, so funny story about this deck. I was actually told by this deck from a subscriber who plays a lot at higher level events. And I was like, nah, it can't be real. And I actually gave away a few of these copies kind of just in a random giveaway as bulk, but they turned out not to be bulk. So obviously I'm talking about Chandra's Goggles. Uh, this goggle ramp deck is for real. It's in the top eight of Shadows over Innistrad. And the deck list is so creative. There were two speculations that I could have gone really deep in. One being Chandra's Goggle, which I didn't do. In fact, I was actively giving them away to the Patreons. And the second one would have been, uh, obviously Chandra herself has already spiked at this point is Fall of the Titans, which was a bulk, bulk card, like 15, 20 cents. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm kind of lazy. And I did not pull the trigger on those two speculations. Chandra's Goggles, uh, Pyromancer's Goggles, has already increased drastically. But anyway, here's the deck. One Dragon Lord, Ataka, um, Breakers. Wow, so yeah, I guess it's pretty good in this deck because you can ramp up. Fall of the Titans, which is a card that is typically doing 18 or 20 points of damage to the face. Fiery Impulse, Magmatic Insight, Traverse the Odevald. Oh, interesting card. Tormenting Voice, Kozilak's Return. Still kind of pricey. I've always liked that card. And this is Pilgrimage to Hedron Archives. Tons of gas. Three Pyromancer's Goggles, and then two Chandra Flame Collar. So the goggles are very good. They double your Fall of the Titans, and because you're ramping, you can do a tremendous amount of damage. Your land base is what you normally would imagine it to be. Cinder Glades from Battle for Zendikar, Drown Yard Temple, Eight Forest, Game Trail, which is the new Innistrad land, Five Forest, so it seems pretty stable. You can get your green whenever you want. Uh, and land is pretty cheap, actually. Cyborg, Volley, Den Protectors, Den Protectors out of the side, Draconic. So you do have a you have one dragon in this deck, if I'm correct. Free Tireless Tracker, two Goblin Dark Dwellers. So Dark Dweller is actually everywhere in the GP, and as a sideboard card at least. One Chandra, a additional Chandra, and then. That rounds up the rest of the deck. It's a fairly interesting deck. I, I like it a lot. There's another Dragon Lord, so I guess you could have two dragons if you want. Seems very brutal. It's your traditional ramp deck. And this deck has existed since Primeval Titan, even Force of Nature back in beta. Very, very stable deck. I like it. It looks fun.